No, I'm I'm not gonna do it. Look, I was I was so ready yesterday when I was gonna record this after I heard the news that Netflix canceled The Punisher and Jessica Jones. I was so ready to just let loose on Netflix because I mean while you know, I liked Jessica Jones and was sad to see it go. The loss of the Punisher on Netflix after we finally got the perfect person to play the Punisher, losing that series to me, oh, I was mad. But you know, I'm I'm not going to let it get to me. I don't know if it's because Netflix I, I knew they were going to do this. I mean, we already lost Daredevil and Luke Cage and, and Iron Fist. Uh, that being said, those three properties, you could also count the Defenders in that, and Jessica Jones could all work in a PG-13 landscape. So, I was like, okay, fine, I, I get why those are going. But the Punisher will never work in a PG-13 landscape unless you do something, you know, change the character kind of like the 90s Spider-Man series did or make big time fun of it uh, like Superhero Squad did. But the Punisher as a live action drama series has to be brutal, has to be violent, has to be bloody. It has to be R-rated plus. It has to be, you know, mature. And we all know that the Disney Plus service isn't going to have that. So the thought of having a Punisher series either had to stay on Netflix or has to go to some other premium service. And now Netflix has gotten rid of it. And I was so mad. I really was. But I'm not going to let it get to me. Um, when it pertains to Jessica Jones, we'll talk about that for a second. Uh, Kristen Ritter, I don't have the quote in front of me, but come out and said she can't wait for us to see the final season. She's happy with how it turned out or something along those lines. And part of me just wants to say, no, I'm not going to watch it. Why would I watch it? Part of me says that. But then again, it's like, you know, I, out of respect for what she did with that character, I probably will still watch the final season. It'll be bittersweet because it's like, well, I guess the last thing we're going to get, but out of respect for her and the people that worked on that show, uh, I'm not going to take it out on Netflix uh, by not watching it. And that's, uh, yesterday I was like, I ain't watching it. Why would I watch it? But I had a respect for everyone that worked on that show, uh, especially Kristen Ritter, who I thought was awesome as Jessica Jones. Um, I'm going to probably watch the final season. Now back to The Punisher. Again, you had John Bernthal, who I know he's come out and said, I think he knew. Um, and a lot of the other actors had come out and kind of said, well, we don't know what's going to happen, but we're, we're not too positive about a season three. Um, and I know John Bernthal come out and said he's he's made peace with it. I mean, this isn't the first time he's been uh, gotten a, a great show canceled. I really liked Mob City. Didn't really go anywhere. Um, he got written out of The Walking Dead, but that was a character thing. Um, I just hate seeing him finally play this role of this character, my favorite comic character of all time. And I'm not saying that other people that have played him didn't do a good job, but John Bernthal nailed it. And now his show is gone. Now, I've said before, and I believe I said it in my review of the season, of, of season two, um that if it ended it was somewhat satisfying because the origin of the punisher was is done he he is he is who he's supposed to be by the end of season 2 he's the punisher he's you know not you know he's the, he's out there to punish the guilty he's not uh there's no question he knows what he's supposed to do so while I was really mad yesterday, and I am upset that they are canceling it, if Netflix was smart, and sometimes I have my doubts because 
you know, the only reason they're dumping these shows is because they're they're crybabies about uh, about Disney getting its own streaming service and they're going to lose all that sweet sweet Disney content. Um, but here's the thing. Disney's willing to still make deals because they made a deal with Hulu for some cartoons made by Marvel. So, I've got this feeling that even though Marvel has, has come out and said, you, you know, this may be the end of these shows, but you know us better than that. This isn't the end, right? They're, you know, stay tuned, to be continued. If Netflix was smart... Uh, they would take away this whole thing of, well, you can't use these characters in a live action show for two years. We heard that whenever they canceled Daredevil. It's like, well, you couldn't, there's something in the contracts, I guess, that says they can't use the characters for two years. Um, if they were smart, they would make a deal with Marvel and, in essence, Disney. Because they're going to get a lot of backlash. And the only way they can avoid this backlash is to make a deal. I would love, at least in John Bernthal's case, I would love to either see a Punisher movie series or another TV series where he gets to kind of continue uh, the story. Now, I would maybe write out some of the characters that were in the Netflix show to kind of differentiate uh, you know, this new series from the old, but keep John Bernthal sort of soft reboot it, have him already be the Punisher and go from there and sign on to a premium service such as an HBO or probably Hulu would be my guess since Marvel started to make deals with Hulu about the cartoons. I could see them making deals for live action shows. Um, I would love to see things like Daredevil and all of them come back. In reality, none of it, it's not all going to come back the way it was. Um, the other characters are going to get folded in uh, to PG-13 land. Um, the MCU, and, and it, will they keep the same actors? Um, I could see them keeping uh, Mike Coulter as Luke Cage. Um, I could see Daredevil being the same. I could see Charlie Cox being Daredevil. I in a way, I don't know. I don't. I don't see Kristen Ritter staying as Jessica Jones, and that's not a detriment to her. I just think that Kristen Ritter works better in the mature rated as the mature rated version of Jessica Jones, where maybe not so much in the PG thirteen version. She's she's at her best when she's cynical and dark, and and I don't want to see her watered down. Um, I don't see Finn Jones getting to be Iron Fist anymore, um, since it was never. Everyone, he was never everyone's favorite. I, I thought he was making his way into it with his his appearance on Luke Cage season two, and in the second season Iron Fist, he was better. It was getting there. Um, so, but I, mean, I don't see them bringing him back. But I could see them bringing at least Mike Coulter and Charlie Cox back. So, but they'll be in the MCU, the PG thirteen landscape of it. Um, the Punisher, though needs a mature rated landscape my prediction again it'll be a premium service and i'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's gonna be hulu especially since i just made that deal with disney um that we're gonna get series from the likes of the punisher blade uh ghost rider maybe um and some other street level uh mature rated uh characters and we're gonna get shows on hulu and if Hulu or whoever signs these guys on and Marvel is smart, they would work out a deal with John Bernthal and get him back as the Punisher. I mean, just seeing him wearing that trench coat with the armor and the machine guns at the end of season two, and sorry, spoilers, but hey, it's out already. And it's been out a while. Seeing that image just said, yeah, this is what we need. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be mad at Netflix. I'm really not. Even though I'm going to call them crybabies. Because they are crybabies. Wham, wham. We're losing our Disney stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and take the first step and make it look like it's our idea. So yeah, you're crybabies, Netflix. But, you know, I, I in a way, I don't blame you. In a way, I'm not mad at you. And I am upset that we're not going to get more. But, it, it come on. I mean, even though I had my hopes up, I'm pretty. I pretty much knew it was inevitable. But, you know, Netflix, I mean, you're lucky 
that you still provide a service. You're lucky that you saved me money and having to rent and buy DVDs uh, for my kids to watch cartoons. You're lucky that some of your kids' cartoons are actually pretty good. Uh, you're lucky that some of your series are pretty good. Yeah, your movies haven't really stood the test of time yet. I mean, come on. Bird Box, everybody. Come on. But, look. You know, things like The Dragon Prince, which I just watched season two, and it's still really good. Uh, you've got some promising things going. So, I'm not going to hate on you too much. Again, wah, wah. We're losing Disney. Wah, wah. But... I'm not going to be mad at you. I'm not going to cancel you. I was considering canceling you yesterday, but it's like, you know, you still provide a valuable service for now. Um, when you get to be too big for your britches, though, and want to be your own network, you want to be your own premium movie channel, uh, I'd have to reconsider. Because while you've had some decent shows, uh, you've had some good comedy specials, some of your kids' shows are pretty good. Some of you, especially, again, I love the Dragon Prince. I, I liked Carmen Sandiego. You know, as of right now, you're, 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 you're hanging on with me. You're hanging on. Because you still provide a service. But, I will say this. The moment you cease to provide a service, a valuable service to me, I hate to say it, but Netflix, you'll be canceled.